Adobe Captivate 9, you can now convert your interactive or non-interactive objects to multi-state objects. Let's see how we can make the most of this feature in the question slides. In this Captivate project, I've already added five questions for us to get started. Now let's add some progress indicator here using shapes and then we'll go ahead and add some states to it. I'll go and add shape here, select an oval tool and press and hold the shift key to draw a perfect circle. I'll double click it to open the properties inspector. Let's change the fill to match this blue color. I'll go ahead and number this as well. Now that the shape looks good, let's go to the state view and add more states to it. I'll go ahead and right click and select add state. I will name this as correct and click OK. For correct, let's go ahead and select a green color. And I'll go ahead and add one more state by clicking the new state button and name this as incorrect. And I'll click OK. For incorrect, let's go ahead and pick a nice pink shade. Now let's exit the state view by clicking exit state. And here we have this object. Let's go ahead and duplicate this so that we can get number two, three, four, and five. And we'll make them available for the rest of the project. So I'll go to the timing panel and instead of specific time, I will select rest of the project so that it's available throughout the project. Now what we need to do is we need to uh, name them. So I'll just select the first one and name this as one so that it's easier for us to uh, select it when we are applying some action. I'll just name this as two and then I'll select third one, three, and then the fourth one, and then the last. So they are named appropriately now. Uh, what we will do now is we'll go to the quiz inspector and in quiz inspector, we will go to the on success action change this to just change state of and uh, one is selected we have to select correct here and for the incorrect which is in the last attempt because we have just one attempt here and um, the last attempt is set to continue we'll go ahead and change this to change state of one to incorrect now go to the second question and do the same so we'll go ahead and select change state of two to correct and change state of two to incorrect. I'll just scroll down a bit and incorrect. I'll go ahead and do the same for three, four, and five. Now let's go ahead and preview it. We'll go to preview project. Okay, this is the first question. I'll go ahead and answer it correctly and click submit. And you can see that uh, the icon changes to green. For this question, let's answer it incorrectly and click submit. And you can see that it turns pink. I'll go ahead and answer the rest of the questions and you can see that it gives a nice visual indication to you of which questions are correct and which are incorrect. You can also use these smart shapes uh, and convert them to buttons and uh, then uh, jump to those particular slides also, one very interesting way of using states in question slides is to apply the state properties to the captions that are generated for feedback. So uh, let's see that. And uh, here, if you uh, just uh, move around these captions, you will notice that there are uh, the correct, uh, incorrect captions stacked here. So I'll just go ahead and move them a little aside. So here's the correct answer option. And we will see how to uh, use states for this particular caption. Now, one thing you should note is uh, for the feedback captions, you will not have the ability to add states because there's no way to trigger any other state, but you can definitely change the way this state looks like. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go to the state view. I'll just go ahead and click state view. And here we will change the look and feel of this normal state. And to do that, what we will do is we will right click this and we will just say replace smart shape and change it to caption. You can also add a character image. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll go to media and then characters. And here I'll go ahead and select the character I want to add for my course. I want to use a high resolution image and just the half shot of it. I'll go ahead and click OK and the image is here. I'll just make it a little small and uh, place it to the right just to give you an idea of 
how it will work okay so uh, this is added and uh, now your feedback caption will show up the person image and you can modify this text and style it the way you want it and uh, now you can go ahead and add any more objects or audio to it as you feel like i'll just go ahead and exit state here one more thing uh, you should keep in mind that the z order of the default quiz objects are always higher than the other objects that you place so if you preview it now you'll find uh, that this caption and the person image is going behind uh, the quiz uh, uh, the object so here i'll just go ahead and answer this correctly and submit you can see that the person image is behind uh, this caption so when you are planning to add uh, other objects along with your feedback captions make sure that your default quiz objects are away from it so let's uh, go and quickly make that change in the master slide view i'll go to master slide view uh, look for uh, the question slide and here's the question slide i believe that we are using so i'll just select it and uh, i'll just go ahead and reduce this size so that it doesn't interfere with my feedback uh, image. I'll go ahead and exit master. And now you can see that it's applied. And uh, let's preview just the slide. So I'll just go ahead and say preview from the slide. And I'll answer this correctly and click submit. And you can see that now uh, this object is appearing correctly. So go ahead and use multi-state objects for your quiz questions.